I'm Eric Stromer. You know, some couples turn home remodeling projects into a game of he said, she said. Have a listen to newlyweds Adam and Donna Contras of North Hollywood, California. My wife say we haven't had window treatments, which is clearly obvious. But she said we're not going to do that until we take all the popcorn ceiling down. Because I can't stand the popcorn ceiling. Popcorn ceilings, the scourge of humanity. I said, ah, oh, it's probably not a good idea because there's a reason that popcorn ceiling is up. It's cracks. Once you do that, you're going to have to do a whole bunch of other stuff. Can we just leave the popcorn ceiling? But she said, no, 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 I'll do it. You won't have to do a thing. All you have to do is just buy me a couple of things to just scrape it off. This doesn't turn out well, does it? Of course, we scrape it off, and it pulls down half of the plaster as well. And she tried to plaster, as you can see over here, which made it actually look worse. And now we're stuck. She's stuck completely over her head. Anything else you want to tell me about? This window. We have no glass in the window. So what's the big deal? All you need is a pane of glass and some caulk. He wants to replace the whole window framing and everything. OK, kids, I've heard enough. I'm on my way, because you are over your head. This actually looks like a topographical map of, <laughs> of the world. Here's the continent of Africa where you're from, right? This is South right. Africa. There's Cape Horn down there. Wow. How did you achieve this? It's a five minute drawing. Oh, Catching oh, rapid set. set. Some kind of really right. quick drawing mud. OK. They say it's like icing a cake, but upside down, it's nothing like icing a <laughs> cake. <laughs> no, it isn't really. I know. It's a problem for you a bit, isn't it? When you I lay in bed, it feels like stuff's coming down to get you. You know, it feels like I was right. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get back into patching again. We've done that, and I think it'd be much easier just to install new drywall, and then we'll screw into the existing Aww. joists across the top. Yes? Wonderful. Now, who doesn't love a poncho <laughs> curtain? It's fantastic. Yeah. And then you open it up, and you find, of course, it is really out. There's yeah. actually no glass whatsoever, but thank goodness you have the gift of the poncho oh, yeah. in terms of the curtain and the insulation barrier. I think that's beautiful. Well, it is beautiful, and it does cut wind, but unfortunately, it doesn't cut rain because it's all raining down on the windowsill <laughs> here, giving you a little bit of rot. Might I suggest that we re either get dual glazed poncho or maybe just replace these windows and start over? Absolutely. And now, this is an interesting little nook here. It's almost like a little coffin. Do we like this? No. You don't like it? What about maybe turning it into a little curio and putting some shelving in here, maybe display? Ooh, function. With a, with a little light, right? <laughs> Please. OK, good. Now, back here behind the bed, you guys, it just feels like this wall is a, Empty. a feet. Yeah, exactly, Donna. <laughs> it's, a, it's a potential feature wall for something. I'm thinking maybe like a headboard back here, you know, a big, artistic, beautiful feature on this wall as an anchor wall. And speaking of which, what's the feeling in terms of the design? I mean, what's your taste? Obviously, I can see over here you have sort of a little shrine here. Is this important to you, this sort of Asian inspiration or the Zen kind of a feel? Yeah, I'm really into Zen philosophy. And Adam actually got all those trinkets from Japan. Do we love the color tones, like this kind of idea? Yes. You know, I actually got a guy. Uh, he's this, this crazy Zen guy that's a really cool designer, so maybe I could bring him into this. It might be kind of fun. Can we <laughs> safely assume that Adam picked the bedding? When did you get out of college? It's a bed in a bag. <laughs> Come on. Adam, we're going to have to bag this entire room and start over. We'll begin with new dual pane windows, then install a smooth new drywall ceiling. We'll turn that nook into a curio cabinet, install baseboard, paint the walls, and create a unique Zen-inspired headboard. I don't know. I can't really decide who should go and who should stay at this point, because you both kind of had a participation in this. You know, maybe we should flip a coin to see who goes and who stays. <laughs> oh. You know? I thought I was getting away from Well, I don't here. know. We'll see what, fate, right, what, what the winds blow in terms of fate. Heads or tails, you call it. Uh, to tails. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> when you pulled out the coin, I wanted to point to my wife and say, no, no, no. She's the one who started on the ceiling. When I come back, I look forward to anything, because just about anything you do in that room would be an improvement. I have no idea what to expect. I hope everything's in one piece. I hope she's in one piece after using several power tools, I'm sure. Can't wait to see it. So on the count of three, I want you to open your eyes. Ready? One, two, three, open your eyes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
This blows my mind. Oh my god! Beautiful. I'm totally amazed. Wow. Oh my god. You got to use some power tools this week, didn't you? <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, this is amazing. I've got to admit, I am completely blown away. I was not expecting anything this drastic. Like, this was really, really intense. It didn't even look like our room. I think Adam was really genuinely surprised about all the work that we put in and the result that we got. Look at that thing. So much. That thing, by the way, Adam, was painted by Donna. She created that entire design using a paintbrush and paint. It's gorgeous. Isn't that amazing? The ceiling. <laughs> was really so it was wow. quite an issue so Josh and Donna put screws up into all the joists so that they're absolutely hanging firm and solid obviously a whole new color scheme in the room the black cabinets were redone this area here I think really came out great this is a wonderful place to honor all those trinkets that you guys love dearly with the accent light I can't believe this I can't believe this is the same room this is incredible <laughs> look what's behind the curtain Adam Dual glazed windows, energy efficient, low E. Oh my god, that's great. All new trim around the windows and a brand new sill. And then all the Amazed. new baseboard around oh, the room. Oh, the baseboard? Room. Uh, oh. Hey, 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 welcome. Oh, hey. What's up, Adam? The brains behind the That's operation. exactly right. Josh was incredibly helpful. He was very patient with me and all my silly little questions. Hey, what about that? No, 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 no. Whatever the. No, 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 no. Go get some tools. I'll teach you how to use them. Then you're on your own. Fly free, little bird. See you guys. <laughs> Thank you Enjoy. So much, See you guys. Good work, Donna. See you, Adam. Wow. wow.